This playthrough is rated E10+. No sudden moves. Go directly to the professor. Well, you know what? I've got sand in my boots. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Sigma Star Saga. In the last episode, we finished Chapter 3, continue, explored the ice planet, uh, gave Scarlet up to some aliens to do with what they will. Hopefully, it was something PG uh, PG or PG-13 or less. Uh, otherwise, we have a problem here, uh, Houston. But uh, no, otherwise, we're fine. Did a bunch of jobs. Kept Balloon alive. And, uh, you know, kept that under wraps. And uh, now we're back here. And we uh, apparently Syme threatened the the, the, <laughs> like, the guy from the third, from the, the ice planet uh, um, with, with, I don't know, violence. And, and he's decided to stay there so we can travel back there later if we need to get more gun data. It's a silly thing. Let's just forget about it. <laughs> it is a silly place. All right, the professor, huh? All right. I am the Professor Zot. Welcome to Starbase 4, or as we call it here, Zot Laboratories. Huh, did you name it yourself? Show of respect, don't you realize I am a science advisor to the tyrannical overlord? Why would you jump ship and abandon Commander Nomak like that? Show you knew that you would be placed under house arrest upon arrival? Naturally, but we also knew that Nomak would inform you that the virus is harmless to Krill physiology and that your starbase would be moved here to accommodate our visit. True, High Command was very pleased to learn that this dust bar planet was the fourth. But again, you are no fool. Why risk coming here? Because the situation has become volatile. We need to straighten some things out with His Majesty. You are our best chance of getting his ear. We want our freedom, all three of us. What do you offer in return? Information about the virus. That is hardly worth your lives. The virus is no longer a threat. What are those things doing in the pods there? Are they dancing? Are, the, are those, uh, yeah, they're, they're the creatures or whatever, but are they doing a jig? Are they mocking me? I think they're mocking me. Not to these people, not to the people of Krill, but unless I'm wrong, it was it will be quite effective against the tyrannical overlord's precious alien matter. My, my vud! Even the human scientists never knew what they were creating. It was Earth's failsafe plan in case your overlord got the alien matter first. Vez is this virus now? In a safe place, along with a few samples that were transferred to Earth, let us go free and I'll dictate the makeup of the virus to you exactly. You can use the formula to create an antivirus. If Earth deploys it against His Excellency's alien matter, an antivirus will be his only defense. You've uh, indeed advised to come directly to me. I will contact High Command and the tyrannical overlord. Well, I guess everything's working gravy. You, I don't know. I feel like they could have just captured us, threatened us, probed us, whatever, with the with the with the creature and probably gotten the information but apparently they're idiots so let's just ignore that so anyway we can't go back inside so let's see who else uh, is available to talk to this the commander places get shorter and shorter it seems like every time but anyway if we search here we get some gun data i think that's the only one on this place if i recall correctly uh let's see just to make sure uh yes okay <clears throat> Anyway, we get the splinter shot. So, yeah, they may burst into a uh, deadly um, shard, so which isn't too bad. So this one is another, uh, yeah. Spl <coughs> I was thinking splatter for a second, but uh, this one, if you don't want to do bubble, splatter is also a really good one to do because it gives you extra, uh, extra basically extra damage. So, anyway, let's talk to the two crewmen of this place. We're extracting samples of alien matter from the plant below. We've got samples from the forest, fire, and ice plants on the way soon. Bet we discover something amazing. Yeah, sand planet, huh? 
Man, they really did not come up with interesting names for these. They could have called it like Gamble Quadrant 5 or, you know, I don't know, Alpha Centauri. I don't know, just something interesting. But nope, Fire, Ice. What are we, like in an episode of Airbender or something like that? The good one. Or Avatar, sorry. Actually, I never actually watched the full thing of Avatar. Everyone says the first one's good. I kind of watched a couple episodes and I kind of checked out. <laughs> yeah, I know that's probably blasphemy to, for, to cartoon watchers out there, but... Uh, Professor Zart wants to see you. I just left. Have you seen the human female? What a shiny coat it has. She doesn't wear a coat. Oh, is that what he calls her skin? Hmm, creepy. But anyway, yeah, all we had to do is talk to the two guys. Now we can go back to Zart. I wonder if he likes Pop-Tarts. Okay, now this is the same thing. <clears throat> you just only get the extra dollar from that one guy. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. Run back, talk to those guys, run back. So, okay, cool. That was fun. I've been given instructions. High Command accepts your offer. You are free to use this facility to create an antivirus on the condition that you turn it upon completion. Do this and I will guarantee your freedom. Good. Here is a schematic of the virus. We will need to create both the virus and the antivirus to be certain it all works. Let's take a look. Hmm. Dot dot dot. We will need to create a genome to my specifications. But certain base genetic elements will be required. I would assume some fossil records exist on the planet below. It would take only a single preserved specimen to extract the genetic code we need. Looks like we'll have to scavenge for genetic building blocks. Sign, we'll need someone to look after our interests here. We can't allow ourselves to get backed into a corner again. You better keep your hands to yourself. We'll see. Ooh. I almost kind of like the... Like the, the <clears throat> it's very rare in a game when... Uh, it's usually the main character hits on both the girls and it's usually based off his decisions like which character he goes with depending on what type of game you are but it's a very rare occasion where both girls are basically actively going after the main character the main character's like uh i'm not sure what i should do I i'm just gonna leave it to you two i guess and then run off and do his adventure thing i hope you get i hope you get sunburned pink skin aren't we both pink skins though but anyway, yeah, uh, Simon's gonna stay here and just keep over the doctor to make sure no nefarious deeds go. And she only has to fight two other crewmen, so it's not like it's a big deal. But anyway, we have to go to the uh, sand planet and uh, get that uh, uh, fossil samples. Gotta create that genome, baby. Now, do you have any extra dialogue? Nope. Okay. All right, let's go and land. We will eventually go, be able to go back to old areas. But for now, we gotta get this fossil thing. Okay, Scarlet, how do we do this? Hold on, now that we're alone, I need to know what's going on between you and that alien girl. Is cuddling up to her part of your assignment? No. Yes. What I mean is, I've been ordered to earn the trust of the quill around me. It's necessary. So when this is over, you go your separate ways? Absolutely good because I hate to see a perfectly good human waste on that krill trash. Ooh. Ugh. Well, you can explain you can explain that bit of speciesism on the fact that she probably likes the guy, so she she's willing to demean her to get, you know, a, a point in her favor, you know. <laughs> you think I'm perfectly good, do you? Don't read into that. Anyway, we need to split up. You know you never split the party. Keep the healers in the back, the fires heal hale and hearty. I'll check this way. Remember, we're looking for fossils. What was with that music change, baby? Yeah, that was a... I mean, I like the music. It's just like, what the heck, man? So, all right. Now, right, so we got to go. Let's take a look at this place. That's pretty straightforward. Not much uh, complication to it at all, so... Well, I mean, obviously, in the area, actual areas itself, so... All right, well, anyway. Okay, so there's quite a few gun data here, so... Uh... Okay. Yeah, it definitely has a, uh, look at the, uh-oh. Are those, are those statues blinking? They're blinking at me. Anyway, let's grab this. We'll grab the gun data in a second, so. After we fight a battle, of course. All right, we've got some enemies here. Uh, uh, bugs of some sort. You know, centipede, I don't know, millipedes, hard to say. Oh yeah, there's the scatter, by the way, that's how. 
that works. It goes all over the place. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, well. Oh, that was the last one. All right. Cool. But yeah, this is definitely Egyptian theme. I mean, it's a sand planet, you know. You know, viewers, I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, gets everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> no. I already said that last episode, but I don't care. Or I already did the Final Fantasy VI reference, so I'll have to think of some other ones. Found new gun data. All right, which one's this one? All right, the barrier ability. So they will create vertical barriers when you uh, shoot stuff, so it's a way to protect you. So not bad if you're trying to look for protection. I'm more of an aggressive type of guy, so I, I believe the best offense is a good defense, that type of thing. So, yeah, it looks like it has kind of a mixture of a, uh, yeah, look at all the, uh, yeah, we got a creature here. What the? Oh. Ha. Yeah, so, uh, robots don't die in one shot, so. All right, let's see what we got here. Is it the same as before? I know there's different varying areas. Oh, no, it's different. All right. Whoops. Well, that didn't help. Yeah, I might stick to bubble, maybe. Bubble seems to be, be more, a bit more effective for me, so. Right, whoops. I actually didn't mean to use bomb. I meant to. Uh, I meant to switch to bombs or something like that, but. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, we had those uh, tremors, or what is it, the tarlite pits or whatever. Starlight pits, sorry, tarlite. Hey, it's been a hot minute since I've... But anyway, these alien creatures, let's see if I can show what they actually do. Come on. You don't want to attack me? All right, whatever. Fine. All right, now what? Is it the same area? 99! All right, fine. Oh yeah, there's the, well I've shown that one off before, where you get a uh, full HP back if you, that's uh, one of the benefits to that one specifically. I guess those are just sand dollars or something like that, or, okay, this one's slightly different, so I can, I can show this one. I was thinking about cutting it just because it's 99, you know. Yeah, I probably should switch back to bubble. Man, we should get another level though, so that's good. Oh yeah, I ended up, uh, wait, no. I ended up redoing the boss for the last episode just to see if I could get a bit more experience. I ended up getting, I was able to kill enough dudes to gain another level. Uh, other than that, that's nothing changed. I just, I just got an experience to gain a level, that's all. Man. Yeah, it might be bubble for me up to this, because scatter's not really working in, in my favor, at least not in this part. Damn, 99. Whew. Oh, and I forgot to switch my uh, front and back uh, guns. I don't need those anymore. Not here, anyway. So, gain a little. Yeah, maybe I should have grabbed some more of smart bombs before, before doing this. Oh, by the way, after a while, the uh, level resets, and it's basically the same type of enemies over again. So... I mean, it's the same enemies, but you know what I mean. Like, it's the same pattern again and again until you beat it. But man, 99, I might have to quit that double, that double cost one. Because I don't want, I mean, yeah, I'll do a lot of these off screen, but man, I don't want to take forever on some of these levels. Yeesh. And I like this game too, but, uh, you know. Don't want to overstay its welcome sometimes. Wow, I'm just going to get smacked all the time now. All right, almost done. All right. Yeah, can't even can't even have fun to explore, you know, with the. All right. Well, anyway, let's keep going up. Ooh, a cave. Let's see what else is around here. Yeah, more of these robots. They take two puck kills to destroy. Dangerous. All right, let's go inside the cave. All right, what's in here? Got to be something here. Looks like uh new coloration of creature more statues I guess I could have ran all right let's see oh okay I missed it <laughs> I was like I knew there's some game data a gun data around here it's actually uh, right in front of the cave whoops it's one of those you have to scan it my bad let's see there it is haha -ha.
All right, we get the rocket. Uh, a slow but powerful adds plus three to damage to your uh, current uh, power. So not bad. I kind of prefer the triple shot, but I'll uh, you know I'll equip it just to show it off. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button. All right, power shot. Let's go back to bubble for a while. I need to show off all the different abilities just to show what the what those actually do. <clears throat> now let's show off barrier. And let's show off uh, patrol node just to uh, change it up a bit. Like I said, just to show you. Why not? So, all right. All right I need to go this way. Oh, now he's moving around. Maybe I can show what he actually does. Oh, he just runs into you. I thought he did something else. I must be misremembering or something like that. All right. Let's see. There should be a... Oh, got some... Okay, so the combination I chose for my weapons is very, very inefficient. This thing was like, I, I cut it out, but I was gonna show it, but I was like, no way, this is this is impossible, especially with the rocket. It might be better with like, if you're just having the standard beam, but with the rocket because it's slow and powerful. It, uh, yeah, it does not work for that. No way, uh-uh. I was trying to be fun and do something different. Nope, uh-uh. Yeah, that was, that was annoying as all heck. All right, let's uh, switch to the nodes. And I'll just switch to bubble again. Okay, that was just that'll just make things a little bit easier. So, all right, you go down, you go switch down. All right, now there's another good data here. All right, this one is. All right, this is the bounce shot. So, as you can see, it bounces like a ball. Thanks for the description, guys. I really appreciate that. So, all right. Let's see. All right, wait. Oops. Nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, well, yeah, it shows off what it looks like. I mean, if you're fighting ground enemies, I guess that works. I don't know if I showed off all the variations of the shots, like what they look like. This one's kind of cool looking, but it's not as effective. And there's the charge shots. Did I show any other ones? I think I showed that one off. And let's see. Now, plus one damage. Okay. Cool. All right, now that we've gotten all the gun data we want right at this moment anyway, now we need to go actually fossil hunting first, so. All right, so the way you find them is they're, they're, you have to get the scanning tool. So, okay, so. All right, pass the distance here. Oh, we got a boss, I can show this one off. Just wrecking this thing with the nose. Because we're hitting it from both sides. Oh, got a little too close to the damage. Ha! Yeah, we're wrecking this thing with double nodes. Wait till we get the triple nodes. Yeah, the reason why I didn't use the triple nodes during the one boss fight is because, you know, the boss would just put up its shield if you hit it too many times. So, alright. Well, anyway. Let's uh, take care of you guys. Alright, whoops. Oh, wait. No, I don't wanna. I wanna go back. I don't know why I walked this way. My bad. Yeah, triple. Uh, double nodes, baby. Want all those double nodes. Alright, let's uh, go past this guy here. Alright, so now let's find these uh, fossils. Ah! You know, the things walk, they don't run, so it's not like... All right, anyway, let's find the first fossil. There it is, right there. What the? What's going on? Why did I get teleported? What's going on here? Random boss? No, the fossils will actually attack you. Which is weird, but okay. But anyway, just, yeah, they're really easy to fight. I, I didn't even let it do anything. I don't even remember what it does. If you've done the same thing I have, you won't, won't have to worry about it. So. Yeah, they attack you every time you do that, so. All right, we got a fossil. Now, if we get all seven, we can form the Dragon Balls. I mean, get our wish. I mean, uh, 
uh, I don't know, whatever has to do with the number seven. So anyway, yeah, we have to find seven of these uh, fossils. So, all right. Yeah, and every time it's going to try... I think all it does is try to ram you, now that I think about it, with the, with the, uh, the creature or whatever. So, anyway. All right. Yep. Okay, so we need to go back the way we came. And then up the hill area. All right, so let's see. Just trying to remember on my notes where everything's at. Oh, whoops. I was about to say, what? Why, why, wouldn't I, why didn't I get to kick anything up, so? All right. Okay. All right, I just need to find this other, uh, other, oh yeah, I have to go, sorry. I keep, I keep moving out of the map where I'm supposed to, where I'm supposed to be going, so I need to go this way. Let me get. And I hit myself with another, like, 99 one, which is insane. Yeesh. Man, they really want you to fight all these things, huh? So, anyway, let's. Okay. Yeah, nothing too difficult there. Well, that one was fairly short. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Oops. Gotta remember to. To this thing, so we can. Uh, there's the other one. Yep, now we have to do boss time every time we want to fight these things. Oh, now it's. Yeah, now they're coming together. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, they keep trying to form together trying to defeat us, but, uh, man, we're getting experience like mad in this place. What level am I in right now? All right, what do we got? Yeah, we're 36 right now, so yeah, we're cooking with gas in this place, so, all right. Okay, now we need to find the rest of the, uh, the, uh, Fossils, and there's a data point there for those who need it. All right, let's see. Yeah, avoid the data, data thing right here. Let's see, I think it's in this general area, if I recall. I think it's up a bit further. Uh, we ended up fighting a boss off screen. Oh, yeah, and I gained another level, as you can see there. So, yeah, here's the two eye thingies. This will take us to our destination. I forgot if you can actually... Yeah, okay, you can destroy... I was thinking for a second, I was like, I forgot, can you actually destroy those things? But anyway. All right. Fossil number three. Now what will turn into? A bigger skull? Well, yeah, a bigger skull. Except now it has hands! Ah! Freaky, man! Oh, this is freaky. This is scary, man. I don't want to deal with this. I didn't know this was going to be a horror game, man. But anyway, he's dead already. Whoops. Huh, I ran into it while he's dying. Whoops. Anyway. All right, four more to go. All right, back up the area here, back up the hill. Ooh, we got a jump spot here as well, huh? All right. Let's see, it should be around here, yep. All right, bigger, bigger boss time. Now it's gonna turn into, now it's gonna get ribs, right? Is it gonna be a McRib sandwich? Or spine, whatever, it's all good. Either way, don't let him touch you. Yeah, you know, he's prehistoric, who knows what type of diseases he might have. He has spine attacks, you, gross. And, uh, yeah, come on, fall down, there you go. Ah, what? Ah, no, so many experience disappeared. That's not cool. Aw, oh, man. It's because I defeated the spine, like, right in front of me, so. All right, well, then what can you do? All right, anyway, up this way. All right, should be, yeah, right there. 
All right. Now what do we add? The the ba the the backbone is connected to the shin bones or knee bones maybe. Well, lower spine. No, that'll work. More spine. Why not? I can deal with spines. Might wait for it to go turn around, yeah, so I can I don't lose all that experience. I didn't lose that much experience, but it was annoying. Okay. There we go. I was hoping to get him in one go, but he's he has too many parts now, so. No, the level. Well, one of the benefits of fighting these guys gives you a ton of experience. So that'll make it much much easier later on. Huh. Alright, let's keep going. Go hop off this ladder there. Well, that just seems silly now, isn't it? So. Alright. Let's see. Alright, double checking something. No, more eyes, or whatever you want to call them, so. Alright. Man, even in the fast ship, these guys can't can't handle my awesomeness. All right, there's the other one, or another one, I mean. All right, now we got big, big boy McGee over here. He's got to get legs now, right? Come on, legs. Ah, bigger spine. No. All right, yeah. Nope, doesn't quite get legs. You don't have any legs, cause they ain't there. All right, I just gotta wait for him to turn around. Good boy. No point wasting all the experience. Alright. Yeah, look at that. It's just like a tiny little bit of the spine. Like, that's not impressive at all. You're a little bit of a little thing, aren't you? By the way, piddle for thing or not, he does give us some experience. Final one. All right, I need to go down this way. Let's see. There's a cave entrance here, so it should be around this general area. All right, should be down. There it is. Aha! All right, this is it. This is all the marbles. What have we turned into? What is the complete skeleton that we found? This better be awesome. Better not be another spine. There we go. Yeah, it's got a little uh, um, scorpion uh, tail or whatever. But he falls just like all the rest of them. We shall wait. Turn around. Didn't even get a chance to hit us with a scorpion tail. Actually, all he would have done is run into us. That's all. The, that's all it's designed to do. It's not meant to. Uh... I just wait for it to turn around. Yeah. There we go. Twin bees activated. Nothing can stand against me. There we go. And that's it for all seven fossils. Last bottle found. All right, now where's the... Uh... Okay, well, anyway, uh, uh, Scarlet actually isn't here. She's back at the base, so I'm going to go head all the way back to the base, which actually isn't that far away. So I'll see you back there. Okay, we made ourselves back to the base, and yeah, Scarlet's waiting for us here. You think she'd be on the planet waiting for us, but no, we have to go back to the, we have to go back to the ship. But you brought something? Yeah, check this out. I had to fight a huge skeleton to get it. It was this big. He mocked me too. He's like, he said something about he man. I'll get you for this. And you're like, I don't know what that meant. I'm sorry. I thought you said a skeleton. You're not some fancy nerd, are you? Did you find the one plus one dagger too? Hey now, no one makes fun of the plus one dagger. That saved my life multiple times in a video game anyway. Hardy har har, look. Wow, we a living dinosaur bone. Told you. Let me extract a sample. Here it comes. Coolness. What? 
Coolness? Who says that? Anyway, we found the genome. Let's get back to the lab. All right. That was weird. Coolness? Man, sometimes the dialogue is weird in this game. Yes, you just saw it, but anyway, yeah. I don't know why I keep talking to him. I'm expecting more dialogue, and that's not the case, so. All right, let's head back to the, um, uh, Simon, everyone. No, no, no anything for me, Turney? Not yet? Okay. All right, well, yeah, we had to head back to our Simi and everyone else, so. Back to the lab. Back to the science lab. Back to the nerdery. Hey, dude. Don't you find the genome? Right here. Let's get started. We'll breed the virus in one tank and antivirus in the other. Don't worry, Sam. I didn't put the moves on Glover Boy. Uh, Sam, are you alright? What the? Well, that was awkward. What happened to her? I don't know. Uh oh. I know what this is. How to explain this to the off worlders? Uh, Mr. Vecca, how well do you know Sam? Meaning, the vinicule girl, I'll uh, take a closer look. Uh, when did we get biology lessons? I did not sign up for biology lessons. I signed up for a space action RPG, please. Oh, wait. What is that growing on her back? <gasps> Holy Toledo, what have you done, Wrecker? I didn't, we ki We made out. That's all we, yeah, it was just a kiss. You, th uh, you really think the game was insinuating something else? No, they all they did was kiss each other. Nothing, just a kiss. You'll have to take her to a pool of water somewhere clean. The process can run its course there. I can't keep her on the station in our condition. Medic! Oh, those creepy guys. Wait, aren't those the guys that like almost took me apart or whatever? Take Syme to the launch bay and prepare a ship for Rekka. He's adopted some, uh, new responsibilities. What? How could this happen? I'm not ready to be a dad by kissing. Kind of reminds me of a... I'm trying to remember of like one story where someone said he wasn't ready for a dad. Never had physical relationships, but... Nah, never mind. That, uh, that's a different story. Anyway. You put the moves on her? You'll have to sort things out later. Find a pond and submerge her. But we're over a desert planet. Then take her somewhere with water. Just go before she bursts right here on my floor. I can't go out to watch the virus. You're on your own, you filthy scumbag. Oh, crumb. Crumb? What type of insult is that? Or what type of, like, ex expletive is that? Oh, well, whatever. Well, apparently... Yeah, apparently, by kissing Simi, something had to do with either her or her, uh... Her, uh... Creature. Something's going on here. So, uh... Uh... I don't know. Record doesn't seem like the fatherly type, man, if, if that's where we're going with here. So is, is that the insinuation that kissing in Krill society is basically going to all uh, go the full full run, if you know what I mean? Well, I don't I, I guess Record's going to have to get those books on uh, on dadding somewhere along the line or something like that. We'll put Sim we'll put Simon on board. Two of us will travel with you. I recommend the forest planet if you're looking for pure water appropriate for this kind of thing. Uh, the forest planet it is then, so. Alright. Well, well, well. Looks like, like I said, looks like our adventures are not quite done. We thought our story was pretty straightforward. Make this virus be done. Now, apparently, Kiss and Simi is equating to basically a shotgun marriage here. So what is it with Simi? Is it really as we as bad as we think it is? Will this be the benefit of us both? Will Scarlet ever forgive us? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Sigma Star Saga. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.